Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a new product review. We got uh, Chemical Guys Honeydew uh, Soap. I have about 100 millimeters in the bottom of this bottle for us to fill up with water. And today I got a pretty cool example. They have a 2020 um, Corvette. So I'm going to walk you around and show you. Um, it's a little bit dirty. Um, you got a little salt on the ground. It's um, an all season. Uh, what are they? Michelin Pilot Super 4 all season, something like that. So, we're just been driving around. As you can tell, there's like salt here on the driveway. So, this thing is covered. So, we're going to get it all cleaned up. I'm going to show you that. And we'll, let me do that right now. Alright, so, if you look here, all the salt, see the wheels. Still really grimy. It's not like super dirty, but I mean, the guy driven through the roads. So it's got a bunch of salt. See, like the grime there. So, up top here. Not too, too bad. I think I'll leave the engine bay alone. That is looking dusty though. And actually, what's funny is like there's no way it's not going to get dirty because it's totally exposed with all those holes so water is going to get in so same thing look down here all this grime um, the wheels are like half cleaned because it just rinsed them real quick didn't want to get too much into those because literally I had the car clean then it got driven in the salt and the snow well not the snow but more like the salt all right, we're gonna go from there. Just get a quick view from this. The sun is <laughs> amazing right now. All right. So, we're gonna hit on it real quick. Um, as you can already tell, it's pretty good. Let's go. Um, I'm going to be very cautious over there at the top where I showed you where that in engine has the openings. Sometimes you're going to spray water down there and also with the soap just glance across it so it doesn't go in there directly. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to soap up the whole car. I'm going to rinse it off and I'm going to walk around. So basically I'm going to use it as a pre-rinse first. Show you how much grime we got off with just the soap and the rinse and uh, go from there. Um, I did not pre-rinse the car. So this soap is on the actual dirt, so and that's by pre-rinse. I rather use the soap for the soap to do its work. I know with a power washer it does a pretty good job, but to me I feel better with like a soap, um, a citrus degreaser. Those usually work really well to get track, uh, uh, traffic film off. Do not have any of that with me. Also, I don't think it's necessary right now with the way the shape the vet is in. Um, because normally, when I get the chance to drive it, it's not my car. So when I get a chance to drive it, I like to clean it first. Um, it's only got like 3,000 miles on it. So I get about once a week, I get a chance to drive it. So it's not really getting dirty. These are the winter wheels. These Trident are, are winter wheels for the car and not uh, summer wheels. So these are they were just recently put on about a month and a half ago so they're not fully dirty that's why I'm not too worried about the wheels and yeah it's that's why it's dirty but it's not super dirty and it's not ever gonna really get real dirty because I'm not gonna let it get like that because when I drive it I want it to look clean and look good so I usually um, do a waterless wash version to it which I don't like doing but the amount of times I gotta drive this car and the schedule and all that, that's what it ends up getting. So this is actually its first real wash that it's actually gonna have. 
But again, like I said, it doesn't really get dirty. So, all right, let's go. So unfortunately, I suffered a slight issue. My uh, hose split in half when I went to rinse. But overall, though, I mean, it got like 90, uh, it's like 80% of the dirt off. I mean, because you look in here, you can see a little bit, but it did a pretty good job of knocking out a bunch of this stuff. Um, here's like a panel that I, like, I, I uh, finished, I wiped off, dried. Um, yeah, really good. That soap foamed up for so long. I mean, I had a good five minutes to let it set, rinsed, hose exploded. So then I had to go and do like a bucket method. But, and then I rinsed it, uh, then I just had to use the hose. So, kind of a bummer that I didn't get to do a normal style video that I normally do. But it did a really good job though of knocking it off. So I had to, I have to compromise a little bit, but did a really good job um, just knocking off the dirt using it as a pre rinse So, unfortunately, that's what happened. So now I'll have to go through two bucket method with just water and go from there. But the lubricity so far that I have felt in some of the panels has been pretty good, really good. I mean, here's an example in the back. Uh, so spot not hit, spot just rinsed, as you can see the difference, it's really good. So, I mean, that that's like the best example. There, try to, to like, a spot like that where I didn't hit it. So, perfect example of how it's going to do just getting the dirt off. So I'm impressed with it, it smells really good. Um... I mean, I always knew this stuff was good. I mean, the reviews are always really good. And it foamed, as, like, just as good as the maxi suds. I didn't notice any difference. Like, it wasn't any more than, like, the maxi suds. And the maxi suds is, like, six bucks cheaper. So, from what I found on uh, Amazon. So, I don't know if I'd go over this again or maxi suds or just go back to maxi suds. Because you save yourself $6. But if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, forget to subscribe. Sorry that this video is a little bit shorter and a little bit different than my normal videos. But that's what happens when you have a mechanical failure like that. So, let me get this thing wrapped up. Um, when I do, I'll probably do another video and show you the final product. But it's unfortunate. That's what happens when you buy some cheap stuff. But I can't complain. I got this thing for less than 90 bucks. So... Okay. Alright, so I ended up finishing it up. Came out pretty good. And again, this is just like a light wash. Can't believe I had that issue there with the hose. But that's how it is. And that honeydew, though, uh, to, like I was showing you guys on that back, it was amazing how, uh, how well it was able to get in there. And, um, so, whatever. With the license plate on my core. But I mean, yeah, it looks good. I was, in, I was happy with it. This car has got a bunch of little angles and stuff, so it's kind of a pain to wash. Like I was saying up here at the top, where water gets in here, then you gotta clean the glass, then you gotta clean everything. Basically, I just wiped everything down. It's kind of what you're gonna deal with though on the car. It's a fun car, I'll let you guys know that. Um, the reviews aren't wrong. The one problem we have um, that I've noticed, um, this actually already had a transmission put in it, is that um, from the rear, from a go, from the, like a dig, no, wait, yeah, from a dig, absolutely terrible, the amount of wheel hop. I don't know if it's got to do with the um, all season uh, Pilot Super Sport um, four S's, but unfortunately, that is what it is. Maybe on the summer tires, I'll have to try it out. But I know people are in the form of already broken axles on them, so not going to try that. From 40 miles an hour up, though, you're good to go. It'll smoke almost about everything. Obviously, a Tesla will beat it, but a Tesla does not look like this. So, thank you again for watching. Um, sorry about the little error that I had with the soap, but it is what it is. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.